Hello, in this video, we are going to evaluate 200 squared minus 199 squared without making use of calculator. We have solution. And in this video, we are going to consider three different methods. So let's start with the first method. This becomes our method one. Now, in this first method, what we are going to do is, this is 200 squared. We can easily write it as, we can have 199 plus 1 or power 2. That's the same thing because 199 plus 1 here is 200. Now the next thing is for us to consider this identity. If you have a plus b power 2, this is equals to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So we are going to make use of this identity here. And using that we are going to have 200 squared equals to a squared is simply 199 squared plus 2ab is simply 2 times 199 times 1 plus 1 squared. Now the next thing is, let's go further. This simply will give us 199 squared plus 2 times 199 times 1 will give us 398. And from here we have plus 1. So this, if you evaluate it further, you are going to have 199 squared plus 399. So this becomes the value for 200 squared. Now recall that we also had, let's get back to the equation. We need to consider what we have here now. Minus 199 squared. So we go back. This now replaces 200 squared. So we are going to have, let me write 200 squared minus 199 squared is now equals to we are going to have instead of 200 we are going to have 199 squared plus 399 that is your 200 squared then you now have minus 199 squared this will cancel this and the final answer is simply equals to we are going to have 399 so 200 squared minus 199 squared is equals to 399 this is our first method. Now let's consider the second method. Method 2. Now in this method 2, what we are going to do is let's recall the problem. We have 200 squared minus 199 squared. So what do we do? We can also say that 199 squared is simply equals to 200 minus 1, that is 199, or power 2. And we are going to make use of a different identity. If we have a minus b, power 2, this is equal to we have a squared minus 2ab plus what? b squared. We are going to make use of this second identity here. That means we can say that 199 squared is equal to a squared here is simply going to be this is 200 squared minus 2ab will simply be 2 times 200 times 1. Then we have plus b squared, that is 1 squared. And if you do all this, what you are going to have is simply 200 squared minus 400 plus 1. And this is equals to 200 squared minus 399 okay this now becomes the value for 199 squared now recall that we have 200 squared here so what do we do we can say so therefore 200 squared minus 199 squared is now equals to we are going to write our 200 squared here so we go ahead and write 200 squared, there's a negative sign here, minus, now this 109 squared is what we have here. We have 200 squared minus 399. So we go over again. This simply means we are going to have 200 squared. If you multiply this negative sign across here, you are going to have minus 200 squared plus 399. So this cancels this, and what we have here is simply 399. 
That is the second method. And if you check, it actually corresponds to what we had before, 1099. Here. So now let's consider the third method. So we have method three. Now this third method, we are going to make use of difference of two squares. We have 200 squared minus 199 squared. So making use of three um, difference of two squares, recall if you have a squared minus b squared is equals to what? a plus b times what? a minus b. And in this case, our a is simply 200 and b is what? 199. So going by this particular identity, we are going to have a plus b, we are going to have 200 plus 199 and a minus b, we are going to have 200 minus what? 199. So this simply give us 200 plus 199. This will give us 399 and 200 minus 199. This will give us 1. So 399 times 1, we are going to have 399. So that becomes the answer and that actually also corresponds to what we had before. So any of this method is very fine. So we just go ahead and check which one that you are more comfortable with. So that's it for this video. Thank you and goodbye.